This episode of the TRM podcast is brought to you by TRM, trusted IT solutions for today's business challenges. In today's episode, our host and TRM president, Norman Carr, sits down with Scott Wright, CEO of Click Armor, which is a new and innovative cybersecurity awareness training solution that uses gamification to engage and arm employees with skills to defend against cyber attacks. Enjoy the show. Good day. My name is Norman Carr. I'm the president of TRM Technologies. I'm pleased to have with us today uh, Mr. Scott Wright, uh, president of Click Armor an organization that we deal with exclusively in the delivery of uh, social engineering and uh, security awareness training. And so without any further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Scott. Uh, we're here today to talk about uh, phishing schemes and such and, uh, and other uh, training uh, that's become uh, necessary, I'm afraid, given the, uh, the current uh, cyber concerns and also because of the pandemic. Scott, over to you. Yeah, hi Norman. Uh, great to see you today. Uh, it's uh, an interesting time for sure. I think we're uh, always uh, a little bit surprised at uh, how bad things can get, and they just seem to keep getting worse, right? <laughs> so uh, the problem that I'm seeing these days from from phishing is that um, you know the the global cyber crime rate is is escalating. I think they're predicting uh, six trillion dollars in global cyber crime losses by 2021. Um, and to put that into context, the entire uh, enterprise IT budget globally in that same year is $4 trillion. So uh, that's, it's going to be more in cybercrime, more profitable to be in cybercrime than in uh, enterprise IT. So that's uh, one of the scary things. But we're also learning that from a security awareness point of view, we have uh, a lot of difficulty getting people to understand what to do to defend themselves. We know that attackers are focusing on people because they think that uh, people are the weak, weakest link and they are finding ways to get around all of the millions of dollars worth of uh, network security and computer security, software security, um, just to get to the people and have them make poor decisions or click on things that uh, give them access to uh, the things that we don't want them to have. So it's, it's a really uh, tough time uh, these days for businesses, especially small businesses. We know that 60% of small businesses that have a security breach uh, go under within six months. Um, so that's a pretty startling uh, revelation. And uh, that's something that I, I basically focused on for the last 10 years is the security awareness problem, the weak, weakness in human uh, uh, ability to make good security decisions. Scott, you've given us some size and scope. You know, it's a, a significant number. Um, what are uh, what are businesses most concerned about in terms of uh, you know, areas to address first, and uh, and where's 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 your current focus? Yeah, so I mean, businesses from the, the, the pointy end of the stick, right? Where, where it's all happening is uh, things like ransomware, right? When you hear news stories about ransomware and scams, you know, businesses being scammed out of millions of dollars, um, which with, with what seem like simple uh, tactics on the, by the attackers. So these kinds of things are what keep CEOs uh, up at night um, and, and leaders in, in government um, trying to figure out how you get people to stop clicking on things or how to uh, get them to stop complying with requests without uh, authenticating them. And those things are, are what lead to these ransomware uh, incidents where businesses are completely shut down, all of their systems are locked up uh, unless the company or organization pays the ransom. And sometimes you see them not paying the ransom, and uh, it's probably a good thing on principle. It's like not paying a, a ransom for a, a kidnapping. But uh, in the end, uh, even if you, you do pay the ransom, you're not guaranteed to get all your, uh, your data back. I think there's actually a significant percentage, around 20%, uh, have reported that even after they paid the ransom, they didn't get all their data back, which is a, a big problem. Uh, the other thing is, if you actually um, don't pay the ransom, the fact that they had access to your data in the first place means they could have and probably did extract it. And it gives them a plausible second wave of attacks, which I call a double dipping. <laughs> and basically it means that um, the 
uh, attacker will come back and say, well, you don't want to pay the ransom. Eh? Well, I'm going to expose all this personal data and, and sensitive data that uh, I got from your systems anyway, unless you pay. Uh, so that, that's another reason why you might want to pay. So there, it's, it's really just such a, a bad situation in terms of impact that the only real response is to try to uh, prevent it from happening in the first place. And for that, you really need to address the awareness problem and the people that are clicking on uh, these kinds of uh, phishing links, spear phishing, et cetera. And the kinds of solutions that businesses are using right now uh, are typically developed for uh, compliance purposes uh, to address things like HIPAA and GDPR, which are all very valid reasons to, to have a program. But what they don't always do is address the risks and, and the real behavior that uh, we're trying to change by having a, a program in place. And so if people can't actually practice and see the kinds of things in real life that, uh, that they're going to see sometime in the future, then it's very hard for them to uh, be able to react uh, properly when they do see it. And that's really where we've been focusing on uh, addressing that kind of a gap in the security awareness model uh, with Click Armor. Okay. So, uh, Scott, what are you, what's Click Armor doing to sort of address this? I, I, you know, I, I, uh, I know we've been working together for a few years now, and, and I know we've, we've done some custom training. Can you, get, can you get into the details? Can you give us some specifics? Yeah, for sure. So um, as you mentioned, we've worked together for a while on security awareness programs uh, for different organizations. And uh, I've been doing it for about 10 years, uh, tra training security awareness. And, and what I've learned is that every business has a different risk environment. They have different terminology. They have different workflows. And we learned that as a result, uh, unless you tailor the content uh, to the specific situation that people are in, they won't necessarily be able to even understand what you're saying to them. And if they're not engaging and they're not understanding, they're not going to be able to defend. And so a few years ago, the reason we created Click Armor was to change that whole model and say, we need to get people engaged, first of all, to be able to understand what we're giving to them. We can put a, a you know a page of text or, or a video in front of them, but if they're not paying attention, they're not going to learn, they're not going to be able to defend. So what we have created with Click Armor is a gamified, integrated platform and methodology that allows us to deploy in a the same self-paced SaaS model that you would see in uh, traditional security awareness training. But because we use a number of proven gamification techniques. What I mean by that is intrinsic and extrinsic rewards for people to uh, take little steps that, that will get them further along and, and show them progress and, and uh, show them that they are getting better and improve their confidence. So the fact that we're using these proven techniques that nobody else in the industry has used um, is really exciting and, and fun because people are giving us amazing uh, feedback on how it uh, works. Uh, what we haven't really seen in any significant way is the solutions out there right now arming employees with this kind of um, gamification. Uh, sometimes you'll see vendors say, yeah, we've got games uh, as well, we're, ga we're gamified. But what they're not uh, doing is integrating all of the gamified learning techniques together into a single course, for example, and focusing on gamification as a way to repeat and exercise people's skills and then to be able to assess them in a, a real sort of simulated environment. So when we do that, we gather the data from the first time somebody plays to the second, to the third, uh, and we can see the trend. We can therefore say how much knowledge retention they've uh, actually achieved uh, by the end of the program. And so with the, the simulations and the data that we have, we actually provide some really good assurance data for management, which they never had before. Uh, in providing a security awareness training uh, uh, to their employees. Scott, are you seeing, uh, are you getting feedback from your customers? Are you seeing evidence that uh, the training's working? Yeah, it's really fun actually because uh, a number of our early employee or our early customers have uh, had their employees have sent me emails directly just saying, you know, I just wanted to let you know we just finished the training. I find it a lot of fun, but I also learn something, which which is obviously what we're we're after in the first place. But it's just uh, such a fun sort of you can tell in their voice or the tone of, of what they wrote 
that they are uh, really excited about it. They're saying, you know, uh, a bunch of us are, are competing together within uh, the leaderboard. And then we saw, you know, that the president of the, the company is uh, getting up on the leaderboard. So we all went back in and redid some of the courses to improve our scores and push them down on the leaderboard. So it's that kind of like real life experience that people can't even imagine ahead of time how it's going to impact the culture and their abilities. We also have uh, other employees who've said that um, they've never had training uh, or any kind of awareness training where they found it uh, that they would go and talk to their coworkers about how difficult it was or how they did on the program. Um, and they said, basically, I've forgotten everything about you know any of the other awareness training I've ever taken, but this one uh, really resonates. They've told people that uh, they, uh, they'll be in a meeting and someone say, well, I got this email. I'm not sure if it's right. And, and they'll say, didn't you take the click armor training? <laughs> you you, you should have remembered that. You got to take it again. So there, the feedback that we're getting from employees in particular is, is really good. And in managers, uh, we're getting people saying, you know, I thought I knew this stuff, um, but I was actually a little bit overconfident and I didn't do as well as I thought I would. So it kind of brings people down to earth. Uh, but everybody really seems to be finding it uh, useful, at least from the point of view of uh, as an experience and developing their confidence in uh, doing security uh, defense. Uh, the training you're providing, is, is it... Uh... Is it all clients need? Is it, or is it augmenting uh, the other training they're seeing as well? What, you know, what? Where do you see this fitting? Yeah, uh, good question. So the traditional security awareness training uh, has typically looked at, you know, the types of um, uh, guidance that people have or or that businesses have in their policies. Typically, you've got an acceptable use policy. You'll have you know, guidance on passwords or how to avoid uh, viruses or, or ransomware. Um, but what we are not trying to do is teach everybody everything right now. We're focusing on the high risk areas where we really need people to change behavior. Um, gamification, as you can imagine, is, is a little more complex than just putting a, a screen of text uh, in front of people and, and hoping they read it and understand it. And because of that, it, it will take a little while for us to build up the entire library of uh, content that you might want to have in a full security awareness program. But if we can address 80% of the problems right now with uh, a couple of courses on phishing and social engineering and soon to be coming uh, acceptable use policies and passwords and mobile, those things are the top things that we need people to understand. So we see ClickArmor as more of a complement to your compliance-based training uh, to really close the gap uh, as far as risk management goes. Scott, you know, we've had conversations in the past, and I know you've mentioned that customers of organizations uh, can, can be equally vulnerable. What's, what are you doing to sort of uh, prevent that sort of uh, additional breach, I guess? Or? Yeah, it's, it's an interesting problem that I hadn't really thought of that much until uh, fairly recently. I mean, every business obviously has customers, but when uh, you have large organizations, especially government and uh, other highly trusted organizations, banks, for example, uh, you have you know a, a large customer base and the attackers would love to be able to get in between them and have payments go to them and instead of uh, to one of the, the two uh, partners in the, in the relationship. And so we're seeing a lot of cases of things like uh, phishing and even texting that is impersonating the trusted organization like the government or, or large organizations and saying, you know, uh, here, here's where you make your payment or uh, here's where I would like my uh, refund check deposited. Um, these are all things that can actually be uh, targeting the clients of an organization and that's not only bad financially but it's certainly not good with the organization uh, in terms of their reputation uh, to have their client base uh, you know targeted uh, and scanned so we're actually getting opportunities now to talk to organizations about using click armor as a way of uh, educating their client base to make sure they're aware of the risks from scams because the organization really has no way to see those attacks happening against their clients. So it's a really interesting uh, way of applying click armor, not only internally for employees, but externally to uh, your clients. Scott, uh, thanks for this. It's, it's, it's been good. Any, any final thoughts, anything you'd like to wrap up with? 
Yeah, I think I'd just like to reiterate, you know, the fact that things are really not getting any better, uh, at least on the defensive side uh, and on the off uh, or on the attacker's side. As I said, you know, we're, we're seeing a huge increase in attacks uh, to the six trillion dollar global cybercrime number. And that was even before the pandemic. We've seen a 600 percent increase in phishing attacks alone uh, just since the beginning of the pandemic. And almost everybody I talk to these days says they've seen a surge. And so. It's, it's really getting a lot worse uh, in the threat area. And if we don't increase the ability of employees to defend against these kinds of threats in a different way than we were doing before, then we're not gonna get any better at it. And the gap is just gonna get wider. So we see Click Armor is really the only solution that really engages employees to defend themselves against uh, any kind of attack that uh, you can simulate. And to build some kind of immunity within the teams to those cyber attacks. Uh, along the way, what we've offered uh, in the last month is a new program called Can I Be Fished, which is really a free online assessment that allows businesses or individuals actually to come and just do a, a three minute game and see how vulnerable they might be to phishing attacks that would simulate uh, any kind of COVID-19 exploit. So it could be emails from your help desk or from your HR department, you know, on your uh, overtime uh, pay schedules and things like that. Uh, any kind of attack that an, a, a, an attacker might uh, launch at individuals working from home, uh, this can really help people understand how vulnerable they are. And it's free and it's at canibefished.com. Um, and we also have a, a corporate version of this, which is also free and it will allow us to gather information about the vulnerability of an entire team anonymously and report it back to you and show you how many people got them all right, how many people got uh, one out of 10 wrong, etc. And it gives you literally a profile of how vulnerable your team is to phishing attacks. So we're really excited to be able to offer these sort of free trial programs just to show people quickly how we can bring new value to uh, your business. Scott, thanks for this today. It's very good. Um... For you clients watching this, uh, if you're trying to get a hold of Scott, feel free to reach out to TRM Technologies. You, you'll find the contact information attached, <laughs> the, the email, uh, and uh, or feel free to reach out to Scott directly. Uh, we work together. So uh, thank you very much and uh, have a good day. Thanks, Scott. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Norm.